Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we have a long-awaited Zara haul. I have a couple of these pieces since before I actually moved out here to Arizona, and I've been waiting to put them all together for you because you know how I am. I like to give you the full look, okay? We don't do anything half-assed over here. If you're new to my channel or you've never seen one of my videos before, my name is Amanda and I'm inspired by all the fashion. I'm also starting to do some weekly vlogs, so don't forget to subscribe before we start this video. That way you don't miss out on all of my fashion content. So why don't we start with this little Pink Panther number? I have had my eye on this t-shirt for quite a while, and if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I love a nice little graphic t-shirt, okay? Because as much as we all like to be fashionable and dressed up every single day, that's honestly just like not practical. You need to have some easy to throw on items in your life that still look cute just to make your life a little bit easier. And um, this t-shirt is exactly that for me. I absolutely adore this shirt. It's cropped, first of all. The sleeves are longer. I just kind of rolled them up a little bit because I think it adds a little bit more character and style to your outfit. It even kind of makes it look a little bit more like put together and styled. You know, you didn't just throw on a t-shirt, you styled your t-shirt. And these jeans that I'm wearing are actually not from um, Zara. They're from Pretty Little Thing. These are some of my favorite mom jeans of all time. I do love that they have a ripped knee and this light denim wash is a yes for me. But how cute is this just a bubblegum pink moment? I know that we've seen a little bit of pink on my channel, but you know, we're going to keep rolling with it because I'm not mad at pink. Also, I love that the text is in red. That just makes it so much easier to mix and match your pinks and reds together, which I love to do. And the star of the show, one of my favorite purchases of the entire season are a pair of shoes. I mean, okay, let me just give you a close up here. These Perspect pink and orange heels are everything. These are Probably my favorite of all clothes and accessories that I've purchased all season. These shoes right here are my favorite. Also, the arch in them, they are just, they're not too high, but they're definitely higher than your average Zara heel. So keep that in mind, obviously. But these look so sexy on, and I need to point out the shape in the front of the shoe. So it's not a square. It's kind of a triangular shape, which is so sexy. Honestly, my style is so broad. Okay, I can't pin my style down to one thing. But one thing I can say is that it's always a little edgy and a little sexy. That Those are two elements that I always incorporate in my style. So, all right, the next outfit that I put together is another green outfit. <laughs> you know, I love green. So I had to do it again. And I paired it with these I believe they're called men's style pants, men's style wide leg. I don't really know. I Now these actually are a little bit big on the waist for me, but there's a little TikTok that I saw somebody mention where if you put like a little safety pin right here, especially because it has this kind of a closure, if you put a little safety pin right here, then you can kind of make your waist uh, cinch the waist in on the pants if they're a little too big. So that's what I'm probably gonna try to do in the try-on clip. The texture and material is a woven material and this is, you know, more of a deeper emerald, maybe more of like an apple kind of a green. And I love these. I think that these are so fun. These are not too thick, they're not too heavy, so they feel very easy to wear, very flowy, um, my go-to kind of a thing. Then I decided why not pair it with a little lime green t-shirt moment. We're doing the green on green. And in the try on clip, I, I'm probably going to knot it in the front or something like that, either knot it, crop it up somehow, because I think when you have curves, um, the best thing that you can do for yourself is show the smallest part of your waist, because that is honestly, I think the most flattering for our body shapes. 
So I always try to do that with all my outfits. If I wear anything too boxy, it just makes me look bigger than I am. So I always try to find a way to kind of crop in the waist where it's the smallest. And then I just paired that outfit with a black bum bag. I think the black did a good job of kind of toning all the green down and kind of making it a little bit more wearable, I guess you could say. And then of course I had to pair it with my favorite black sunglasses from Amazon. I will link those below. These are the cheapest sunglasses, but honestly my every single day favorite sunglasses. These add such an edgy, stylish uh, piece to my outfits that I feel like makes a lot of my outfits, to be honest. It really gives it that edgy kind of cool girl look, okay? When I say cool girl, I'm thinking of somebody like Gargana Ivanova, if you follow her on Instagram and YouTube, or Cass, Cass Demi, D'Amico, I can't remember her last name, Cass. Anyways, those two girls, love their style. Cool girl, fashion girl, you know, that kind of a thing. And also in the Triumph clip, I'm just wearing some black, tied up heels. I showed these to you guys in my very first Zara haul. These are old shoes. I believe they're from Miss Lola. I don't even think they're available anymore, but you can find so many strappy heels like this anywhere, to be honest. Okay, the next outfit I have is another pink moment because I can't get enough of pink right now, pink and green. I know everybody is saying that right now, but I don't usually wear as much pink as I've been wearing. I do usually wear a lot of green because green is my favorite color but the pink is just taking me over the season like i don't know what it is and i hate to sound like every single person on the internet right now but it's true it's just true and i just can't get away from it we have my favorite zara tank of all time it's i think these are so flattering for the body because of how they come in right here they're cropped so it's easy for me to wear high-waisted pants with this crop shirt and obviously that kind of thing flatters me the most in my opinion and i paired it with the pink flowy pants these are the same ones that i showed you guys in green actually they just don't come with that matching button-up shirt i wish all of these flowy pants had those matching button-up shirts because they are so perfect for a whole outfit. Unfortunately though, I think that the green is the only set that came with that matching button shirt. Everything else is like kind of an ugly top to be honest. But they have a drawstring, they have the two pockets in the back and it is the same kind of woven material as those other ones that I showed you the last time. This next one is a neon orange skirt. Okay, you guys know that in Zara, I usually order larges just because their sizing already runs small. And for someone who's curvy, you just kind of sometimes have to go up a size in order for it to fit and maybe alter the waist or somehow kind of like mess up the waist or whatever. But this skirt that I ordered, this neon orange skirt that we've been seeing on Instagram everywhere, okay? I ordered this in a large. This thing must run so small because it is pancaking my butt, okay? And that, that's, it's just not cute. Now, I did try it as an outfit with this Pink Panther shirt and the same pink pointed toe heels that I showed you earlier. That was my vision in my head and it looks cute, but I can't show you the back because of how short and pancaky it is. It's just not, it's, it's not cute. Um, so if I was going to make this skirt work, I would have to get it in an extra large because this fabric has almost no give. So keep that in mind. This thing has almost no stretch, no give, and it runs super small. Maybe it's because of the fabric that it runs small. And I expected it to have some elasticity or some stretch or something. Give me something to make it work, okay? Give the curvy girl something. But no, Zara was like, mm -mm, not for you. So, unfortunately, I'm either gonna take this one back. I do love it though, I love the shape of it. It's very edgy, but I'm either gonna have to reorder it or take it back, so I don't know. And then, of course, I had to get that same pink tank top in white because you need it in every color. And I paired it with some orange pants, okay? I'll take them off the hanger so I can completely show them to you. I actually ordered these pants to wear in the next Zara haul that I have coming up. 
but I figured, you know, why not use it in both hauls because the, these can be worn in a dressy or a casual way and I just felt like I had to include them in this haul. I was back and forth on these. Do I really need that? Do I not need it? But it's orange and I love orange, but I love it, but do I need it kind of a thing, you know? And I am so glad that I got these, okay? Because these right here, Zara had some curvy girls in mind when they made these, I feel like. They are those wide leg orange pants with the pockets in the back. I did not expect these to have any stretch in them. And I wouldn't call it stretch, but they do have some give, okay? Because I think that this is more of like a, maybe a woven cotton or something like that. Um, but they're, they're very soft material and these are so flattering. They are high waisted, so they come up at the smallest part of my waist. And then they just do something for the booty. They just do something. They make your booty look so good. I These are the kind of pants that you dream of when you're like, okay, when you dream of the most flattering pants slash jeans that you could possibly wear for your curvy figure, these are those dream pants. And I'm not over exaggerating. I am in love with these pants and I can't wait to show you in my next haul how I dress them up. In the try-on, I think I'm probably gonna wear them with my orange Zara heels that I've showed you guys before. So I'll show you those really quick again. So sorry if these are a little dirty. I've been wearing these like crazy because I absolutely love them. But these are the orange two strap heels that I showed you in one of my other Zara hauls. I love these. I picked this up in store and you guys will probably see me shopping for this one in my vlog because I was at the store like debating if I should get it. In the store they did not have this in a large and I really wish that they did because this is supposed to be like a flowy kind of a dress and it's supposed to like come in at the waist and flow out at the bottom which it doesn't because they only had a medium and I decided to get the medium because I still wanted to try it out and see how I liked it. I think that this dress is really cute. It has little cutouts on the side right here and you cinch this up to kind of cinch in the waist. It really, you can really snatch your waist with this one. I don't know for sure if I'm in love with the fit because it's a medium and I had the vision of it kind of like coming out at, at flowy at the bottom and it doesn't do that because it's tight on me obviously. But I saw this fabric though and I thought it was just so cute. It's a very easy to wear summer dress, um, more casual kind of a dress and I, I think it's really cute. Okay, this clothing piece, I'm so excited to show you guys. I have had my eye on this thing and I was in the store and they had it my size. So I was so excited to try it. It's the jumpsuit. I know you guys have seen people with this. It is a little, so it's like a knit material or something, knit or woven, something like that. But it is kind of sheer. I did put it on though and you can't, because of all the stripes and the colors, you can't actually like see through it, but in your head, like you know that it's kind of sheer. So you would just have to wear like nude underwear, but it, but it's not like you can really like see your skin or anything like that. I love this jumpsuit, okay? The weird thing though is that the seam right here is kind of sticking out a little bit, so I think that's a little bit of a defect, but the colors, the stripes, it's giving me a little bit of a retro vibe, which I think this would be perfect for something like going to a concert or going, you know, wearing it to the beach. Obviously it could be a beach cover up, but I think like a festival, Coachella or a concert, daytime concert kind of a thing, this kind of a thing is perfect for because it's just a unique piece. And when you go to a concert, you wanna stand out and you wanna have something unique and special. I think that this is perfect for that. So if we were gonna go full send on the retro vibe, we're gonna fully send it with the retro vibes, okay? Do you guys watch Summer House? One way that you could do the full retro look are with some sunglasses like these orange lenses and the tortoise kind of a frame. These are from Pretty Little Thing. And I just love these sunglasses. These are so just retro cool, perfect for summer, perfect for a concert, Coachella, a festival, something like that. Like I just felt like these went so well 
with the jumper. Okay, I didn't actually try them on with the jumper yet, but I'm assuming in the try on that I will like them together. So we're gonna talk about it like I did try them on together. Love these, I wore these my entire vacation. Some heels that I didn't show you yet because I got them kind of in the middle of my move are these green leather strappy heels. Zara, obviously. I wore these and I do love them. They are fairly comfortable because of the low heel, but I think that, you know, with all the straps, when you wear strappy heels throughout the day, you know, sometimes you can get that kind of dig in your foot. I did get that a little bit, but I was wearing them around the entire mall. I was walking around most of the day in these shoes, so they became a little painful because of the straps after a while, but for the most part, they were pretty easy to wear, comfortable, I would say, because of the low heel. And love the green. I love these shoes. I think that they are very sexy and so cute for summer. And you guys have seen these two bags in some of my other Zara hauls. This is my little orange limited edition Zara bag. I love this mini thing. One of my favorite bags ever. And then obviously the green little bag with the gold chain. I like the smaller version. I don't know, it's something about small bags to me. I'm just leaning more towards the smaller bags. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. Make sure you look for my next video because I do have another Zara haul coming up. I don't know if it's gonna be back to back, but I do have another epic Zara haul coming up and you don't wanna miss that one, trust me. It's uh, so good. But I just want to thank you guys and thank you to all my OG subscribers and all the new ones that I've gained. I see you all. I talk to you in the comments. I am so grateful that you guys are here and that you're appreciating my content and you're loving the vibe and we can chat it up like you're my homegirl, okay? So thank you so much to all of you guys. I truly appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.